If you have time to spare this season, the Salvation Army says the more we help, the more they can help people in need who can't afford to celebrate the holidays. Just a little bell ringing can make a child's holiday a happy time. Just to see a little kid with their little toy, a little girl with their brand new doll, it's something so special to know they are, that uh, they are not forgotten and that the community as one is coming together and helping, especially during this time. With the help of the community, the Salvation Army plans to give toys and food to over 600 families in need. Many of the nonprofits in town say they are seeing an influx of people in need this year, so they need all the support they can get. Many of the families are considered working poor. Some are unemployed. Others have suffered financial setback because of an illness. Hampert has been a longtime contributor to the community. Just like other local nonprofits, the Tri Cities Food Bank in Richland has counted on Hamford for 27 years. Hamford employees collect each year anywhere from 20 to 60,000 pounds of food. Well, we've seen a lot of Hanford employees, and I go to the food banks. I literally deliver the food with our police explorers, and it, it's really rewarding uh, for people to see the food bank folks, to see that these are Hanford employees. And what we do is we have the boxes marked as their Hanford food drive, and we give them a letter indicating that it was from the Hanford employees. Uh, it's very rewarding. Uh, I can't tell you how rewarding it is. Rudy Alameda with the Hanford Patrol helps organize a drive and collects the food from all Hanford contractors, including CH2M Hill. The Tri-Cities Food Bank says it depends on this food to feed the hungry, not only for the holidays, but for the rest of the year. It is an opportunity for us to give back to the community, and there's a real need, so I would really encourage you, please, uh, give uh, canned food or whatever you got, and it doesn't matter how small, please give.